My name is Rich Robin. I'm the founder and owner of Gator Pit of Texas Custom Barbecue Pits in Houston, Texas. You've seen several videos on my YouTube channel of me cooking at home on my Gator Pit, my personal Gator Pit that's a 2448. I have a customer that has ordered one identical to mine. This is what we've just pulled out of the shop. We're shipping this out to him today. It's going to be heading up to the uh, Dallas, Texas area. But this cooker, this gator is identical to mine at my house. Uh, we took photos of mine and we used those to build it and duplicate it for this customer. We've done several variations of what I call Rich's Edition 1. It's been very popular over the past going on three years now. Uh, I had made modifications to mine over the, those, those two to three years, uh, being artwork and a bigger stainless steel table and some other modifications such as D-rings uh, and probe hole uh, uh, outlets here or inlets. So this is the first cooker that actually has everything on it that came out of my shop that is realistically identical to my cooker now that I have at my house. So what we have is a quarter inch thick single door 24 diameter, four foot long main chamber with a door counterweight. We've got some artwork. We've got some Lone Stars, State of Texas, painted red, white, and blue. We have our Gator Pit commercial gauges, stainless steel cool touch handles. We have a huge 14 inch drop down 304 stainless, brushed stainless, 304 grade, 14 inches deep, and about 47 inches in length. Big shelf to put meat pans on. You can open your doors without knocking your meat pans off. When I say meat pans, I mean as large as full size foil pans. You can put a full size foil pan on here and open your door and not knock your pan off or have to move your pan to do that. If you need to slide your trays out, you can use the flat top or what I call a box top that's quarter inch thick steel that's over a round firebox. That is a quarter inch by 24 diameter by 24 long round firebox but I have a quarter inch thick, what I call box top, where we take it, we put a quarter inch wall here, here, and on the back side, so that we're able to utilize a little bit of that heat that comes off that fire box to warm water up, pot of beans. You can put warm uh, cooked food up there. Uh, say you want to throw a brisket up there that's been cooked. Uh, you can put a little broth in there, foil pan it and set it up there. Anything she can think of that she want to put up there that she want to put get warm. We got a nice large Gator logo in the front, stainless steel, riveted in with stainless steel rivets, stainless steel rivets on your, uh, on your shelf, as well as a nice rounded one inch leg or a bend. Some people may refer to it as a bend. Um, we've got D rings for securing in your trailer. A lot of my customers either are in competition cooking and want to take this to the to the barbecue cook-offs to cook on or they may want to down the road and have that ability to be able to easily tie it or secure it to a trailer and in general just transport door counterweighted easy one hand lift as you can see one hand not a problem very easy stainless steel cool touch handles our gator pit badging made in the USA we've got an upper full size sliding food tray it's one inch angle frame, reinforced a three quarter inch angle in the middle, prevents it from sagging with the weight of the heavy meats that are on it and the heat stresses. And you've got a lower angle frame sliding food rack, reinforced in the middle, the same as the top. Tuning plates in there are quarter inch thick tuning plates that are adjustable. There's four that are actually adjustable. There's one that's welded or fixed in there. Full size quarter inch deflector plate, not the half moon shape. And then you come off with your quarter inch thick rectangular shaped tuning plates that are adjustable left and right, allowing you to control and, and distribute the heat more evenly through your 48 inch chamber. Also allowing you to create hot spots and cold spots if you want to. And they're locking. So once you set it, you can lock it in place. That way if you do travel, they won't move or shift on you or no one can mess with your plates because you locked them in place. Easily removable. You can unlock them. I can take them out in about 10 seconds, they're removed. Very simple to do. Our fully flanged doors, inside, outside, all four sides, overlapping on all four sides. Our heavy duty hinges that we make in house. Birdhouse stack, our signature stack for Gator Pit. 
Your probe hole, an easy access door for several reasons. One, easy access for cleaning. Two, there's a charcoal grate down in here. If this customer ever does want to grill in this pit, find a need to have to grill and he needs a big grill, he's got that ability to do that. Most customers don't grill in their smokers. You're not going to hurt your smoker by grilling in it. A lot of people think, well, is it going to ruin my pit? No, it's not. It will dry out some of the seasoning that you've gotten in there and built up over, over time from smoking low and slow, but it's not going to harm your pit at all. Here you can see the sliding thick quarter inch expanded metal, one and a half inch angles all the way around it and then reinforced in the middle several sections with one inch by one inch angle. There is a lip here that keeps the juices from coming out of your side door, so don't think there's a side door. I'm going to have juices leaking out, pouring out, not going to happen. You've got a two inch ball valve drain, you've got a removable propane tank holder, and then you got your firebox with your Texas slide vent on the side with a gas assist firebox. This is Gator Pit of Texas. I'm Rich Robin. This is Rich's Edition 1. This is what you see me cooking on at my house. This is identical to that cooker. Got questions? Info at GatorPit.net or you can call 713-896-0144 and the shipper's here to pick this pit up right now. Gotta go. See you. Bye.